Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about direct variation. But before we start our discussion about this topic, let's define first what is a variation. So variation refers to the relationships between two variables or two quantities. So within this series of topics, we will discuss four different types of variation. And the first one is direct variation. So without further ado, Let's do this topic. So we have here a definition of direct variation. Sabi dito, we have here direct variation describes a simple relationship between two variables. So, ito yung literally na lagi nyo encounter in textbooks or in the internet. Y varies directly as X. And when we translate this phrase into a mathematical equation, you can get this kind of equation. y is equal to kx, which is, ito yung direct translation ng y varies directly as x. Kailangan nyo tandaan to. Okay? Another thing about this formula is that, di ba alam naman natin, that y and x are the two variables. Sir, what about k? The k is called the constant of variation or constant of proportionality. Ito yung mga examples na makikita nyo. We have y varies directly as x and y's, y varies proportionally as x. And yung mga frequent phrases na may encounter nyo when it comes to direct variation. Okay? So, next part of this video, I will show you different word problems or different problems you will be encountering when you are dealing with direct variation topic. Now for the first example we have here in direct variation, let me read first. Y varies directly as X and X is equal to 12 when Y is equal to 9. What is the equation that describes this direct variation? Now for the last part of this example, we are asked to find the equation that describes this variation in number 1. So first, I translate muna natin. We have here y varies directly as x, meaning that is equivalent to y is equal to kx. Hindi yan yung hinahanap sa ating problem or answer. We are asked for the real equation for the first example na mayroon tayong variation. So, sir, paano natin gagawin yun? First, you need to find the value of k. Find the value of k. Find find k. Given the first part, this part, which is x is equal to 12 when y is equal to 9, we can find out what is the value of k. So given that you have x is equal to 12 and y is equal to 9, simply substitute these values to the given y is equal to k of x, kx. And then, substitute lang natin, you can have here your 9 is equal to k times 12. And pag simplify nyo yan, that will be 9 is equal to 12k. And then for us to find the value of k, we need to divide both sides of the equation by 12. And simplifying this one, your k is equal to 3 over 4. This is the value of k, but we're not yet done. We are asked for the equation. And for the equation, simply use this formula, which is y is equal to kx, and we know that your k is equal to 3 over 4, meaning we need to substitute this constant of variation for us to get the equation that describes this variation. So substituting the value of your k, you can get y is equal to 3 over 4 x or y is equal to 3 x over 4. This is the answer for example number 1. That is the equation that describes the direct variation. Okay? Another example that we have is that Suppose y varies directly as x and y is equal to 30. 
when x is equal to 6. What is the value of y when x is equal to 10? Given this problem, sa maraming sudyante, they will find it difficult kasi napakaraming numbers at napakaraming condition. Pero, this is what I did when I was teaching this kind of topic to my grade students. First, I am dividing the statements or the given problem into three parts. So, I need to put some line here, another line here, para makita ko yung division mismo. Now, what I do is that this part of the problem is for me to transform this phrase into a mathematical sentence. We have here, y varies directly as x. Ang ginagawa ko dyan, I'm converting it into a given or into an equation. So, y varies directly as x is equivalent to the equation y is equal to kx. Now, we are done with that part. Puntahan naman natin yung second part. Sabi dito second part, suppose y varies directly as x and y is equal to 30 when x is equal to 6. When x and y are given, I am thinking that this part, I can use this part to find the constant of variation or k. So, una natin gagawin dyan is to find the value of k. So, we have k or solve find for k. Given y is equal to 30, o kaya yung ating x is equal to 6. Using this equation, or you can directly transform it into y is equal to kx. Pwede natin siyang gawin yung ano k is equal to y over x. Ayun kasi yung formula para mahanap yung constant of variation. And then, we need to substitute 30 and 6 sa ating formula. So you have k is equal to 30 for the variable y over 6 for the variable x. And simplifying this fraction, it will give you k is equal to 5. It simply means that the constant of variation is 5. So since we already have the constant of variation, which is 5, we can create an equation. Kailangan na natin makapag-create ang equation. And the equation is y is equal to 5x. Pinalitan na natin yung ating 5, yung ating k, using the value of your constant of variation. Right now, we need to deal with this part of the problem, yung pinaka-problem natin. What is the value of y? when x is equal to 100. This is the main problem. So, to solve this problem, ang gagamitin natin yung equation na ito na. Okay? Bali, ang magiging, ilalagay natin dito is find y using the equation y is equal to 5x. Hindi nyo nagagamitin yung y is equal to kx kasi meron na tayong working equation. So, given yung ating x is equal to 100, Ang gagawin nyo lang, simple lang naman, substitute nyo lang yung 100, ay yung x ating, yung value ng x ating y is equal to 5x, so we have y is equal to 5 times 100. So, simplifying this, it will give you 500 as the value of y. Ganun lang simple. So, it is better for us to divide or create something na pwede natin gawin para mas mapadali natin yung problem. Okay, so before we start with the third example, gusto ko lang ma-notice nyo ito. For the first part, as you can see, yung ating x is equal to 6, yung y natin is equal to 30. And then, for the main problem, we have here, what is the value of y when x is equal to 100? Sa main problem natin, yung x natin, it became... 100. Now, I want you to notice this one. Yung value ng x natin from 6 to 100. Kung mapansin nyo, what is the behavior of those numbers? From 6, it became 100. Ang nangyari, nag-increase x. So therefore, if this one is a direct variation, dapat, sa so una pa lang, mag-expect na tayo that the answer is greater than 30. Kasi nga, ba? when you say direct variation, yung behavior nila, if one variable increases, the other increases. Or in, ad, in other way, kung yung isang variable ay nag-decrease, yung isa yung mag-decrease din. But this time, since our x increases, therefore, 
your OI will also increases and that is 500. From 30, it became 100. Ay yung mismo concepto ng direct variation. Now, let's move on with the third example. If y varies directly as x and y is equal to 15 when x is equal to 10, then what is y when x is equal to 6? Same thing, you need to divide it by 3. Mag-create tayo rito ng ating separation. So, una, gamitin natin to. Translate natin into y is equal to kx. And now, for this part, itong part na to, it will be used to find the value of k, yung ating constant of variation. Ayatin dito, find k. Now, ang gagawin mo lang naman dito is you use y is equal to kx and then your y is equal to 15, your x is equal to 10. So, gagawin mo dito, palitan mo lang, or we can use k is equal to y over x para mas madali. You have k is equal to 15 over 10. And simplify natin to, it will give you 3 over 2. Ito ngayon yung ating constant of variation. Therefore, we can change this k into y is equal to 3x over 3 over 2 times x. Yan. Ngayon, puntahan natin yung main problem, di ba? Mas mabilis natin itong nagagawa kasi tapos na tayo sa number 2. For this part of the problem, what is y when x is equal to 6? So, ilagay natin dito, find y. Using the equation y is equal to 3 over 2 x. Sabi dyan, yung x mo is equal to 6. Now, substitute mo lang dito yung value ng x, which is 6. You can have y is equal to 3 over 2 times 6. Simplify natin itong 6 over 2, it will give you 3. Or kung gusto nyo medyo mahaba yung process, you can simply multiply 3 times 6, it will give you 18 over 2, and your y is equal to 9. This is the value of y in this given problem. Now, check natin ulit if this one is uh, totally a direct variation. Check lang natin ito, ha? Eh? This is your final answer. Your x is equal to 10. Your y is equal to 15. And then for the main problem, you have x is equal to 6. As you can see, nag drop down yung value. From 10, it became 6. It decreases. Okay? So, dapat, ang expected natin, if yung x natin, or yung x variable natin, ay bumaba, yung y din natin, ay dapat bumaba. Okay? So, it became y is equal to 9. Kung mapansin niya from 15, it became 9. Okay? That's all. Now, sana natuto kayo sa ating video tutorial about direct variation kasi may mga susunod pa tayong video about variation. Ngayon, kung bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like, subscribe, at ihit mo na rin yung bell button para updated ka sa ating mga future uploads. I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!